Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here with another stream and another video and today we're gonna go over how to get weapon mod level 12 with Elizabeth shop and why you need it so weapon mod 12 or weapon mod in general I will go to Kirito's room and show you guys what Elizabeth's store is and what it does for you and on this game but anyway, Elizabeth's shop is basically the key to making your gun better, changing your gun, and anything along with that. So right here, this Elizabeth, you know, she enhances, transforms, and overclocks weapons. And as you can see, my weapon mod is level 8, but my main account is 12, of course. And I'm going to start off letting you guys know you cannot get Weapon Mod 12 without the DLCs. If you don't have every single DLC, the most you will get is 11. And the reason you want to get the highest Weapon Mod is because your gun will not perform to the maximum that it can. Like, here, let me show you guys. So this is the 160 million bounty long stroke. And as you can see, I have 50% physical attack, which you guys are like, whoa. And you're probably looking at that like, I've never seen that number before. I mean, unless you've gotten 160 million bounty, you do not have physical attack, critical rate, and critical damage 50%. Because this only comes on a few weapons that you could take the chips off of, or you can use the gun as is. And so I also have the saw, well, the hard max for damage versus max. And damage at max HP 29.50 but if you don't have weapon mod above 8 8 the cap is around 22 24 and you won't be able to get the because I'll show you guys another weapon that has 32 Where is it right here damage versus max 32 and physical attack 32 so you see how the physical attack is lower but the damage versus mech is higher and all the other ones this is a bounty reward that you get from 140 million bounty to 160 so you grind bounty you pretty much get really good chips so even if you didn't have the dlc if you were just grinding the mess out of this game you'd be fine honestly and so for weapon mod to get your weapon mod up anyway you have to complete the story mode in normal and you have to defeat the normal cave boss on normal you have to defeat the underground labyrinth on normal and you have to do the squad legion mission and once you complete those on normal of course you have to beat the game and then go into the new game plus on a different difficulty so once you do these things on normal you can do them on extreme and once you do them on extreme and have all four DLCs like I've said because you do need all four DLCs to get weapon mod 12 but all hope is not lost you do end up getting really good chips when you get 160 mil bounty so if you end up grinding enough to get that you'd be good because you can just use that long stroke or you can take the chips off that long stroke and put it on something else honestly I mean, this long stroke is really good. It crits really hard. It does a lot of damage. It's all around really good. But I'm just going to walk through on how to... Well, basically, to get bounty, I mean, if you guys can't get the DLC and you would like to get the long stroke or anything else with these overpowered 50% chips... You would want to do Banquet of Chaos 3, get a little squad, run Banquet of Chaos 3 for a minute, and you get up to 800, 700,000 bounty each time. So it is a lot of games you would have to play if you had no bounty at all, but I doubt you guys have absolutely no bounty. So as you can see also, I did just get the DLC. So I'm actually going to be running playthroughs and putting videos out on, you know, the DLC packs and the side quests and sub quests on everything. So you guys can look forward to that. But like I was saying, Weapon Mod 12, it's essential, but at the same time, it doesn't cripple you completely. It just makes it where you don't do as much damage as the people who do have Weapon Mod 12 because it boosts your damage majorly. And other than that, I mean, 
you guys should just run through normal do the three missions i mean they're gonna force you to do the three missions that you have to do but those are the missions that you can go to elizabeth's shop and see your weapon mod level go up one you do the like i said you do the normal cave boss you do the normal underground labyrinth and you do the normal squad legion and then you do those three on extreme which is six levels right there and completing the game is two well completed the game is one on normal and it's one on extreme and me being uh weapon mod eight right now is because i have the four dlcs and i've done two of the missions and once you go into a dlc they boost it because they uh, because once you beat a dlc they think it's like you beating the game but you end up not getting that point that you would have when you beat the normal mode so like i was saying guys it's really simple all you have to do is those six missions get the dlc and you will have weapon mod 12 i'll do a follow-up video on once i'm done completing the normal mode because i'm about to run through this but this is just for all the people who've been asking me on Xbox, sending me messages, asking how to get Weapon Mod 12. Can you get it without the DLC? Should I get the DLC because I want Weapon Mod 12? The answer is yes. If you can get it, get it because you're going to want a lot of things that come from the DLC, like the skills that come from it and all the other attributes that the DLCs give you. And like I was saying, you cannot get Weapon Mod 12 without the DLC. So if that, if anybody had any questions on that, this is definitely your. The answer is no. You cannot get Weapon Mod 12 without the DLCs. So that's all for these. All for this video, guys. Please make sure you like, sub, follow my Twitch, and follow the YouTube. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.